everybody flannel camper here welcome back if you're new to joining me i'm the flannel camper thanks for stopping by if you've checked out some other videos thanks for coming back today's video is another little tip and technique that i kind of developed and found out the hard way regarding a check valve and the black take flush so stick around i'm going to show you how to uh to quote winger Headed for a heartbreak. There you go. I think the best way to describe the situation I had and what I did to fix it, it's going to require a dramatic recreation. Geez, it sure is a nice day today. All right, I'm gonna go turn the water on. Is there a leak inside the trailer? Yep. Let's go check it out, girl. Where are you, girl? Where's the leaking water at? Gilly, Gilly, where are you? Oh, rats. That's a lot of water. What a mess. Okay, so maybe that's not really exactly how it happened, but I did hook the hose up to the black tank flush, turned the water on, walked away for a little while, and then the wife started yelling, honey, honey, there's a lot of water coming out from the bathroom, and I shut the water off and came in and did some investigating, and here's what I found. Okay, so the issue is down under the sink, and if you forgive me, my daughter did my St. Patrick's Day nails, and it's starting to kind of chip off. But down here under the sink, is where we saw the water coming out and if you look at these two black pipes this is the check valve that i mentioned earlier in the video what this does is it keeps water from the tank from flowing back into the feed hose or your supply hose for your water because you don't want your black water coming out and this check valve is above the water line down below so you got two things working against you this is above the high water line and the check valve keeps any kind of potential backflow from backfeed coming out of the hose. So it's a very simple part to re remove. There's a 90 degree fitting on one side and a straight in fitting, fitting on the bottom. And this is the check valve. You see it's got arrows, water comes in and goes out and back down into the flushing system in the tank. There's a small spring with a neoprene type piston in there and a vent on top that allows the water to not flow back. Ours was stuck and so the water was coming in, the valve didn't actuate and so water, instead of going back down into the tank, flowed out of here and flooded the bathroom. Simple little piece, but caused a lot of heartache. So went online, found one on Amazon. I'll leave the link below to you. And came within a few days. So what I found easy is there's some slack where the pipes go down through the cabinet and down the floor, there's insulation down there. If you do the back fitting first, it's a lot easier. Get it started. That way you don't get any kind of cross threading. Make it just about hand tight and then go ahead and get the bottom one started and then finish snugging them up and tighten up the back one. You don't have to put your 500 foot pounds of torque with a crescent wrench and stuff. Hand tight's good. And then the next time you go to flush out the tanks again, have somebody in here when you turn the water on just to make sure there's no little drips or anything, but it's really all there is to it. Pretty simple. All right, folks, that's it for the check valve and the black tank flush. Very simple to do. Took me five minutes, but I'll leave the link below for that fitting and 
you're going to be in high cotton and get that thing all done. So thanks for stopping by. And remember, calories don't count when you're camping.